Well, welcome back to our video series on designing a MIMIC LNA. This is part two. And in this part, we're going to look at loading the PDK, the process design kit. This is the essential data that's necessary for us to actually design in a process. And for each given process, there's going to be a unique PDK. And with the TriQuint PED process, um, that's it's going to be no different. So um, in order to load a PDK into the AWR design environment, presumably you've already downloaded the PDK. Uh, from the vendor, or installed it on your PC, or downloaded it from the AWR website, and it's resident on your PC. Um, all you need to do to go ahead and load a kit is to go to the file pull down menu, and we're going to create a new project. So we're going to do new with library. And you can see here I have quite a few different PDKs available to me. We're going to go over to the TriQuint PED PDK, and you can see that I have multiple versions. Uh, installed on my machine or my uh, installation of microwave office is aware of multiple versions of the um, TriQuint PED library. And um, this allows us to um, go back and design in a previous project or to pull up old projects and look at the performance that we had simulated um, with the current kit or the kit that was then current, as well as being able to update a, uh, an earlier project with a new kit. So this versioning is a very powerful feature that allows us to stay in sync with um, the state of the kit, uh, regardless of what point in time we're on. So let's load the latest kit. And uh, it's as simple as that. Um, it goes and loads a whole bunch of information for us. The first thing that we're going to want to take a look at is under here on the elements palette, if we go down towards the bottom under libraries, you can see now I have a TQOR, TQPED entry. And this is the heart of what gets loaded with the kit. This is where we're going to find all the elements that are specific to the kit. Now, this isn't just the simulation model. It's an appropriate symbol that TriQuint's chosen to represent the various aspects of their kit, as well as uh, layout information, um, DRC, LVS, help information. All of it gets loaded. Uh, sorry, the, uh, the layout stack up as well. All of it gets loaded into the AWR design environment and is associated now with this project so that anytime we uh, save the project or update the project or load the project, we're going to get the kit um, to be associated with that. Um, so in here are pretty much all the uh, different elements that you're going to need to design a MIMIC. Uh, there's capacitors. These are of the MIM variety. And the uh, MIM capacitor is implemented in uh, three different formats, a uh, high frequency, a lumped, and a, a polygon cap uh, format. There's uh, diodes in the kit as well, several different types of diodes associated with uh, different functions in the um, in the kit. There's an ESD diode as well as other diodes. Uh, P-HEMPs, of course, the transistors are going to be the heart of this process. And there's TOM3 and TOM4 models for the E-mode and the D-mode devices. Um, there's both a model block representation as well as uh, P-HEMP instances. The model block uh, can be associated with uh, multiple devices at the same time, whereas the P-HEMP instances are placed on your schematic one at a time. Um, we have several different resistors that can be used as well. Um, spiral inductors. This is a single um, inductor model. We'll take a, a much closer look at this in particular in a later segment where we're going to be interested in using this for a matching circuit. Um, there's vias and pads that we can use. Um, different via models and pad models, single pin and two pin models for uh, these, um, I'll say, uh, ancillary but all important elements in um, completing your um, MIMIC design. Uh, and they're modeled as well specifically by TriQuint to match the particulars of the TriQuint PED process. Now I skipped over uh, a, an entry in here called shortcuts. And shortcuts uh, are things like uh, microstrip lines, uh, discontinuities, junctions, um, and those sorts of things that you'll be using over and over again. Now these are things that are um, not particular to the uh, TriQuint PED kit, but are relevant to um, the microwave office design environment in general. But they're useful elements that ordinarily you would have to go and scroll back up through the element palette to get to microstrips, et cetera, et cetera. Whereas if we just put them in a shortcuts entry, it's much easier to access. Um, but there are some uh, TriQuint PED uh, elements that are specific to the process, like a process block for um, process variability and um, process modeling, and there are substrate definitions that correspond to specific uh, metal stack-up layers that are in the um, TriQuint PED kit. Now, before we leave this segment, I'd just like to show you how um, the AWR design environment sort of plays into the, uh, the way that kits are put together. And we'll simply do that by creating a schematic, and we'll put down um, one element on the schematic. But before we do that, we'll simultaneously open up the layout window. 
and I have the layout window on top and the schematic on the bottom. And now if I go back to the elements palette and we'll just drag one element in. Let's look at one of these um, PHEMP devices. I'm going to drag it onto the schematic. And you can see that the minute I drag that onto the schematic instantly, the layout is updated. Now this isn't because I'm synchronizing the schematic to the layout. Um, it's not because there's layers and layers of software that are um, doing that synchronization step for me. Um, one of the fundamental aspects of the AWR design environment is the unified data model. And this is perhaps the best way to, do, to uh, demonstrate it. Um, we put down an element on the schematic and instantaneously um, the uh, layout representation appears simply because both the layout window and the schematic window are looking at the same database. There's only one database. There's not a separate one for schematic and a separate one for layout. There's just one database. And by putting the element down on the schematic, um, the layout automatically updates itself. And lo and behold, there is the, um, the layout representation for the very same element on the schematic. Um, there's a lot more to a PDK. We're going to explore all the different aspects of the PDK as we go through this series on designing a MIMIC LNA. If you'd like more information about PDKs uh, in general, or the Triquin PED PDK uh, in, in particular, or you'd like to play around with um, a PDK, uh, go ahead and download a copy of Microwave Office from the uh, AWR website. Uh, if you have more questions, there's plenty of documentation and examples that come with the, uh, the uh, download. Uh, if you'd like more information, uh, you can go ahead and check out the knowledge base, or you can contact your AWR sales professional.